Hello and welcome to Strategic Finance Tips from the Startup Station. This is our new rubric that we're launching this month. In this video, we're going to talk about how to do resource forecasting. It's a very difficult subject for startups because it's a growth business needs constantly change. People leave if their expectations are not met. And oftentimes you find yourself scrambling for resources because you can't um, manage both. You can't grow your business and manage people and understand whom you need, et cetera. And this is a difficult problem. And, um, you know, as a result of this problem, you, you have some operational issues, right? You're, if you're spending too much money on uh, constantly hiring and training resources, right? As a result, your time decreases that you can devote to your business so that you make less money. So your margin suffer and your profitability goes down, your cash flow meets are negative, right? And you're not focusing on growth, right? So instead of um, <laughs> growing your business, you're constantly hiring new resources. And uh, it's a very common problem uh, for for startups. And, you know, besides, you know, doing proper forecasting, which is what we're going to talk about today, it's also about setting internal processes so that when people do come, the onboarding is easier. And then you also work on retention so that you don't have to lose resources all the time uh, if they're unhappy. So then you're only working on satisfying new needs of the company as it continues to evolve. What are the reasons for incorrect forecasting? Uh, you may just focus on the project level view of a future resource requirements. Oh, we need this project and we're not really thinking about the longer term view. Will you need these resources uh, after or not? You may not be properly accounting for attrition rates that some people will leave, not necessarily because you're a bad manager, right? Just because their life situation may change. Not leveraging technology to automate certain processes instead of relying on humans. And finally, no contingency planning so that when something happens, you don't find yourself in a situation when your business significantly suffers. What can you do, right? What can you do? You have to use the employee level forecasting, meaning that you have to get all your executive team members together you have to ask them what needs they have what are your common goals and what resources you need let's say for the next year right or for the next two years you uh, can't make this decision yourself because you may not know all of the information which will allow you to make the best decision you need to plan for contingencies right so that you don't find yourself in a situation where you don't know how to handle the unexpected and really focus on um, employee retention so that when you do hire a person and you spend time on training them and onboarding them you um, do enjoy the benefits of working with them for a long time instead of having to do it over and over again and finally you need to communicate what is it that uh, you're doing company-wide. You know, it's very important for everybody to stay on the same page, for everybody to be aligned. This goes for investors, for employees, for executive team members, for strategic partners. If you're not communicating properly in terms of where you're going, right, this will affect retention and will create problems for you uh, in the long term as well. So here you go. Uh, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips every week, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you want to chat more, if something still wasn't clear, there is a link in the description to a survey. And if you fill it out, you'll have a chance to win a free 30-minute consultation with us. And uh, as a token of our gratitude for your spending your time, we will send you a financial health checklist which you can use to assess if your company is doing well. Thank you and I will see you next week.